G'day Capricorn, welcome to TJ Tarot and Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you, where's that now? See what's going on, hey? Decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested. Gonna do the reading a little bit different today. I've been doing them so far and they're still working out exactly the same as they would before, but it's a little bit quicker. But same messages, same layout. Yeah, so enjoy. All right, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Just get the cards out quicker, that's all. Oh, and by the way, I've got a bit of a bone to pick. 80% of you have not hit the subscribe button, which is a lot. You're all watching me videos and not subscribing. What's going on? Come on. It's free. Just click it. <laughs> Takes half a second. <laughs> so come on, don't be shy. All right. <laughs> yeah, cheeky buggers. <laughs> uh. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and get the cards out a bit faster, and then yeah, then read them. And we'll do under the decks at the at the end of each row. All right, first card for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Okay. I'm trying to get them all up the right way. And this stupid sign, I'm going to sticky tape it to the the card tray. They've fallen over a lot. Second card, please. And third card. All right. So let's go. First card. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Ooh. Okay. Which we... Oh, excuse me. We have the Empress. The Chariot. Ooh, Major Arcana's here. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. There's three. And the Knight of Swords. So they're wanting to grow something here. To move forward triumphantly. Have the wheel turn in their favour. And... Very quickly. Hmm. See, I think they're wanting this wheel to turn very quickly on growing something in this moving forward. What else have we got? Oh, seven of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. And the Tower. Yeah, because, yeah. Okay. Because they've cheated themselves out of working on something. Yeah, they've been cheating themselves out of working on something. And it's all blown up in their face. Because, yeah, and that's what they're learning here. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> so now they want to quickly turn the tables on that and grow something that moves forward. Triumphantly, yeah, because they've been cheating themselves out of working on something here. Yeah, they haven't been putting the work in, and they've realised that, yeah, it's all blown up in their face, because they didn't put the work in when they should have before. Mm, they're learning that lesson. Okay, reconciliation, someone from your past is returning, yeah, they want to come back and, yeah, they've realised, because they didn't put the work in, it all blew up in their face. King of Swords, and the King of Pentacles, there you are. <sighs> yeah. <coughs> Matured now in their thought process, matured in their conversation wanting to be truthful and balanced now with you and have something stable and con and committed here with you wanting willing to be grown up and honest i'm hearing and settle down hmm because they realize yeah 
Mm. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Oh, yeah. They say he was their true love, Capricorn. Yep. You're their wish fulfillment with a star. Two of cups. You are the one they love. And the page of cups. And an apology here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, they want to heal this. They want to have that love with you again and, and apologize or speak to you of love, talk to you of love, tell you you're their true love. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, bottom of the deck. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. <coughs> love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and wedding. This situation involves marriage. Yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry about the coffin. Oh. Very, still very attracted to you. Yeah. They know that they were selfish in the past and they've done that self-work. Yeah. Wanting new love with you. <sighs> really wanting new love with you and a commitment here. Yeah, wanting a new beginning with you that leads to a commitment this time. Yeah. Four of Wands, yep, that's stability and passion. The Death card, the Eight of Cups, and the King of Wands. So, yeah, they just wanted the stable passion before, but, uh, you know, things ended because it wasn't emotionally fulfilling, but now they've learned to control their passions and actions. They're much more mature. Lots of kings here. Lots of kings here. I think they've had a bit of a grow up. Definitely. Definitely had a bit of a, yeah, a grow up for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely had a bit of a, a yeah. Yeah, a, a big shocking awakening here that, you know. If you don't put the work into a relationship and all falls apart, and then you're left with, you know, you cheat yourself out of something really good. And that's what they've realised here. Give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Oh, and one more. Thank you. Alright. Let's get the clarifiers for them without... Um, yeah, without my influence, basically, which it's still, you know, it still works. <laughs> it's another reason I wanted to do it this way, apart from it's quicker. Oh, there's your card, Capricorn. Mm. Um, all right, card number one for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Card number two. Oh, Fruit Loops. Alright, that one, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> I've got a heap for this one. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. And all these were cards. Wow. That's going to be a, <laughs> a fair bit. <laughs> Alright, I wonder what that card is under there. All right, tell me about the third card, please. Okay. It's talking a lot. they got a lot to say. All right. Okay. So let's go. Card number one. Pelican, forgiveness, let go of your judgments. And you, the king of coins, male or female, they want your forgiveness. Oh, yes, they want your forgiveness for not being committed. 
Not being stable, grounded and committed. Oh yes to you. Oh yes. Raccoon resourcefulness. You have all the resources you need. We've got the Eight of Swords. They're stressed about not having the right amount of resources here. Jacob coming in as a page. Not much to offer here. Stressed because they don't have much to offer you. Yeah, a pay, they're coming in as a page and maybe a knight as the best, at the best. They want to come in correctly and have a new beginning with you and have it be successful. But they just don't know whether you're going to accept them, whether you're going to see through their disguise, that they don't have as much to offer as what they, you know... Are you going to see them as, yeah, not good enough? Yeah. Because they see you as in Empress mode. They want something to grow with you, but they see that you can grow an abundance, male or female. But, yeah, they're not sure if they can. Or if you even want to. Yeah. They want to work on this. They want to put a lot more work into this. Eight of, eight of Pentacles twice. They Yeah, they really want to put the work into growing something with you. Yeah, and there's that King of Wands again. That mature control. Yeah, they know what they want. This is what they want with you. They might start off small, but it will, you know, words of... Ah, they're thinking about the words to say and the actions to back it up. Because they want to come correctly with a new beginning and have it be successful. They just don't know if you're going to want to grow something with them, but they are willing to put that work in. They are determined to being, yeah, be a lot more mature in their actions with you. That's for sure. Because uh, they know they've got all the resources to do what they should have done in the first place. Okay, Coyote or Wise Fool. Accept your follies and find the teaching in them. Yeah, that, this is exactly that at the start. They know. They know what they stuffed up. And they're learning the lesson from that. Yeah, Five of Swords. They sabotaged this connection with you. By acting harshly. Yeah, now they want to manifest something with you. But they're not sure what action to take and to get this all new beginnings to manifest with you. Yeah, they're really confused looking at all the options on how they can come towards you. Really afraid you're going to reject their offer. And then they're going to have to heal. Hoping they can make the peace with you as well. But yeah, they're aware that they sabotaged this, that they acted harshly. That they just magically thought no matter what actions that they took or how much of confusion and illusion they caused that, that was just going to work out but they ended up totally disappointed and they had to heal from that so they've learnt their lesson yeah. Pathfinder trust your instincts to guide you through this situation beaver productiveness go ahead and just do it yeah yeah their instincts have helped that help get them through this, you know, this lesson that they're learning. And now they're ready to work on this. Kangaroo gratitude, be grateful for all you are blessed with. Oh, they would so be grateful. I mean, they're grateful for the lesson for a start. They'd be even more grateful if you could accept them back. Dragonfly illusion, you know who you really are, yeah. They're aware that they were living a lie, living in an illusion, a fantasy world. Now they know, realize what, yeah, the reality is. Okay, bottom. Oh, look at that, Ace of Cups. 
three of cups, yeah, five of coins, and there you are, queen of coins, yep. Yeah, they're hoping to have this new love with you, for this to come back together after being left out in the cold that, you know, you'll, yeah, when they reach out that hand that you'll accept it and that they can have that love and stability with you again. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, they had the wake-up call, Capricorn. Hopefully. Yeah, well, definitely they've learnt their lesson. <laughs> yeah, they um, went through a big shock. All right. Let's see what they want to say. Give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Capricorn, please. That was quick. Oh, they got a lot to say. Okay. We have... I have always loved you. I think they have, but they just haven't been... Didn't act right. Yeah, I should have told you how I felt. Yeah, they possibly didn't even tell you. <clears throat> I am not available. Yeah, they acted like they weren't available. They weren't emotionally available before. <clears throat> but yeah, they just weren't. Yeah. Now they want to talk. Yeah, now they want to talk. Because <clears throat> they still love you. Oh, yeah. They still love you. They've always loved you, and they still do. They think you're absolutely beautiful, Capricorn. Yeah. No way are they over you. Yeah, not, not at all. It's, and I'm hearing it's too hard for them to let you go. I think when you, when you spoke up, it, it was really hard on them. Really hard. And yeah, they can't do that anymore. They can't do it anymore. They can't handle it anymore. Not being with you. Oh, yeah. No, they can't handle that anymore. Nope. They're going crazy without you. Oh, yes, they are. They're going absolutely crazy without you. Oh, yeah. They love your smile. Oh, yeah. Lights them up when you smile. I'm always thinking about you. Definitely they are. I miss you. Oh, yeah. And I want you back. Wow. That's very straightforward, isn't it? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get a message for you, Capricorn. To end the reading. Yeah, like I said, it's the same as before, it's just quicker because, yeah. It's still get the messages out. It's just quicker. Alright, message for Capricorn, please, from the universe. What is the message for Capricorn? Could be general, could be about this, could be so. Oh, no, I said no. That's a message for Capricorn. Thank you. Oop. Wait. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. <clears throat> so yeah, Capricorn, whatever it is, whether it's this person, getting back together with this person, or whether it's something else that you're working on, just wait. Bide your time. For better results, yeah. Don't rush into anything. If they want to come and talk, that's fine. You can talk. But don't go rushing back into anything. Yeah. Don't rush anything. Things will work out better if you don't. All right? Bottom of the deck for you. Break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. Ooh. So branch out, just do some different stuff. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Yeah, 
if there's anything that, you know, just clear out the clutter. Let things flow a bit better. Alchemy, you have the Midas touch right now. And every project you begin turns to gold. Oof, lucky you. That's awesome. So get out trying those new things here. Make room by getting rid of the clutter. Because, yeah, any new projects you start are going to turn out cool. And friendship, make a date for a play day with one or more friends. Yeah, go out and have some fun. Break free. Have some fun with your friends. And have some fun with your friends. Go out and do something fun. Yeah, because, yeah, and make room for some new project. Or make room to expand your project because you've got the touch right now. Everything's turning to gold, doll. Alright, well that's your reading Capricorn, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, all you non-subscriber naughty people, <laughs> click that button, uh, and yeah, be nice in the comments, let me know what you think, you know, I, I like it, so I'm going to keep doing it, <laughs> this way, it's much quicker, alright, <clears throat> sorry about that, <clears throat> need a drink, I'm getting flammy. Too much talking. Alright, well, thanks for watching. All the best, take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.